to city skylines. We're in Bushville, uh, our futuristic but good for the environment city. Uh, we're not even looking at it, which is a bit weird. Let's have a quick refresher of what we did. So we started in uh, here. We made this very nice looking uh, entrance area, the penis, uh, where they can come in through this way here. We are using the left hand drive uh, way um, and they can go out this side and out to the junction. They come round to this very nice roundabout, which we're going to keep as clean as possible, apart from the most important buildings, like the police station and fire station that we have down here. Moving around here to take in the left at the roundabout, as you come into the city, we get into Point Town. And Point Town is just the main, uh, main residential area that we currently have. There's a few commercial districts and commercial sections that are parked in there as well. Uh, there's a couple down here. The elementary school, or the uh, yeah, the elementary school here is in the corner here. And, uh, yeah, as I say, there's a few more bits of commercial uh, here on the left-hand side. And on the right here, we've got power going through as well from the coast down there. And I believe Pete Town is, doesn't go down to here. It doesn't at the moment. Uh, we're either going to extend Pete Town down into this bit, or we're going to make this into its own area. But as you can see, we kind of ex go around there. Escapers Way. Escapers Way is the route people, the trucks specifically, will be able to take out of the city. Um from Old Crappington, and Old Crappington is our woodland uh, resource generation, it's our it's our infrastructure that we're, it's earning us all the money, um, trying to be as environmentally friendly as possible, I mean cutting down trees isn't, uh, isn't environmental, but it is in comparison to all those factories we could have, that's our current, uh, what we currently have now, our dump is over there as well, um, as you can see here, we're only using the renewable energy sources, wind, Three pylon, uh, three turbines here, rather, uh, with the pylons leading out to where they need to go. Sewage down the very end of the stream down here, and uh, water's there. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's try and have a look at what we need to do. Okay, so police-wise, we still have a police station, and our crime rate is low, six percent. Jail availability is also high. Thanks for me for supporting the timber industry. There we are. They're all happy with it. Uh, fire as well. We've got a really reasonably low uh, level. There's obviously going to be a decent amount of fires over here, but as I say, it's still pretty low. Fireman efficiency high. It's actually relatively low to Old Crappington, um, but as you can see, it's still relatively safe. But the hazard is only 38%. Police, as I say, is really really good at the moment. Crime rates are really low. And healthcare is awesome as well. Garbage landfill, we've only filled 9%, so we're not going to need to fill that up for some time. Uh, water, we're doing great. They seem to pull out a massive amount. Power, uh, we're getting up to the point where we're using it, but for now we're not going to need to. Education, capacity 300. Uh, efficiency is really good. Uh, eligible is 107 going up ever so slightly. Uh, graduated citizens is 30%, so we have a 28% educated uh, Seventy-two percent uh, uneducated. That will go up um, with time. Also, I've got to take into account. Currently, these are not the best uh, bits of accommodation, and also the only place they can work in the city is cutting down a bunch of trees. You don't need to be employed to do that. Okay, let's have a look at parks and plazas. And uh, that's the next thing we got, as we don't currently have uh, transport. That's two thousand two hundred. So, pretty much just over double our population. We'll slow down the time ever so. No. Nope to one so it's a normal speed and have a look at these parks as I say parks and plazas so these are gonna make people really happy we go here we go here. Japanese garden a botanical garden uh, we got a carousel park a bouncy castle okay what else do we have here plaza, plaza with picnic table that looks sounds quite nice and um, what we got here basketball court Visitor capacity is 150, 150 again, uh, yeah, 150. So what we got here? Parks, plazas, other parks, mod parks. What we got here? Yeah, we're not going to use any of the mod ones because we, you know, we don't know how they work. Magic a theme park. Um, that's quite big. Yeah, we're not going to go with the theme park idea just yet. I think the plaza is a nice idea. It's definitely something we can work on um, making people more happy to be a part of this place. So that's that big. Um, support area is that big. Um, 
However, the botanical gardens are that big. Yeah, that's a bit too big at the moment. So I think we're going to go with mm, basketball court. Yes, let's go with the basketball court because that's going to make people happy. Let's leave it at that for now. Nice amount of trees around there. Uh, unique buildings. We don't have any, I believe, at the moment. No, we do. We have a football stadium. Now, this is going to cost us 200000 Is it a good thing to do or not? That's the question we've got to ask ourselves. Don't think there's anything else. No, there is. Robotics Industry uh, Institute. Head office for a large corporation which creates autonomous robots from, and military drones. The Robotics Institute deals with a variety of automated machines intended for industry and commercial use. Many of these machines are intended for hazardous environments. Okay. So, it's going to take a lot of stuff. Um, I'm not sure whether they make us money or not, or whether they're just what people want to find. Television studio as well. We're probably going to need a television studio when, yeah, as you can see, that is huge. And how big is the football stadium? Yeah, the football stadium is ginormous. So, <laughs> we, we don't even have anything that's going to help us there with the... Uh, everything. Okay, having a look at this. Now, obviously we want our place to be as environmentally friendly as possible. And the one thing we can do is paths. Now we can do gravel paths, uh, we can do pavement paths, and we can do cycle paths. But cycle paths are definitely something we need to do. Uh, the other thing is letting people have a safe route between things. So we can't do that. But what we can do is pop a cycle path uh, out along. Demand, 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 demand. We're looking at kind of a level demand for everything at the moment. Uh, in regards to our economy, we're also doing good. Policies, uh, ah, policies. This is when we can start to do things. Uh, the citizens will prefer working over education, and will only, will only, and only a small portion of the eligible citizens will study. Uh, don't want that. Um, make your parks and plazas the envy of the country. Uh, moderately increase land value around parks and plazas could do that. Smoking ban. Uh, slightly increase happiness. Uh, slightly decrease happiness, slightly increase health. Pet ban. Uh, reduces garbage accumulation. That's not really a problem at the moment. Smoke distribution, that was quite an expensive thing. Power usage. Power usage again, it's not really a problem. We are renewable when we do that. Um, yeah, so let's have a look at the housing and the facts that we need to build up a bit more. Um, think we're going to have to say goodbye to these these guys. Should we go all the way out to there? Or should we um, come back in at an angle like that? Let's do that. Because then what we can do now is drop in a few more houses around here. Speed up time a little bit and hopefully they'll move in. And hopefully that demand will drop a little bit. Okay, we have a bit of a demand for uh, some commercial. Okay, I can't actually zone. You can't actually zone this area anymore because of the uh, because of the zone. So I'm going to get rid of that bit there that doesn't actually look that nice anyway and we're going to drop that in there grab ourselves in some commercial good looking commercial that should 
go through nicely as well. And we should get a bit less of a demand. Power. Now, power is probably going to drop. Energy consumption is only 22 at 31. Not too bad. Um, can we do policies? Free public transport. Harsh prison sentences. Okay, it doesn't actually tell us what we need to do. We can't do city planning just yet. I can't remember what we need. Oh, 4,200. We're actually some way off of that. But that should be when we're able to... You know, say only trucks can go there. I'm saying that even it doesn't look like that's own. You know, only the problem at the moment. Trucks and cars. It's very rarely like, have I seen a truck go out there. Uh, we can just do things like own, not allow any trucks to go out here. What have we got here? Not enough educated workers. Okay, we're doing our best. We're doing our best. Uh, students, seventy-four. Okay, now, is that a problem? Possibly. Possibly, possibly, possibly. Now, we do have a bit of a demand for uh, medium density commercial, medium density residential, and high demand for industry or offices. So, what we could do here is increase land value around the parks or plazas. Let's shut that one on see what people have to say it will push up the value of these this area due to the fact there is a park there um, so hopefully people enjoy it six adults living in this house and as you can see there we are pushing the uh, value of this this area up maybe have a look at a possibility of another park Must be placed on a roadside. See, there's the problem. Ooh, we might be able to drop it in there. I think we will actually. If we get rid of that. <laughs> oh, not that. Jesus. We should be able to chuck in. It is in there. No, it's here. Should be able to chuck that one in. We've got one person that's actually left abandoned a low density building. Hopefully that's not too much of a problem. Not enough educated workers. Uneducated workers. Eight out of three. Educated is four out of six. These, this little strip here. So what are these? These guys are... Jeez, okay, these guys are getting wealthy customers. Um, not enough. Okay, they're going there. Ah, see, this does... That really is raising up the land value of the houses when we don't really have the ability to build the houses that they need so we really want to get some houses that are um uh, like really posh and nice houses but we can't at the moment um and that's obviously pissing off these people that are trying to hire new employees they're still looking for them as you can see now they're starting to slightly drop down uh, let's have a look again yeah as you can see there it's going down a little bit uh, there's a big demand again for some more industry so let's um, chuck some more in here our beloved fire <laughs> fire causing industry is going to be a-okay drop some more in there 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 let's not drop it there okay so we can build up some more in here they can chop down all the trees they want uh, let's have a look at our uh, poli not policies, are trading. Natural resources. Um, available is 13,000. We're using 375 per week uh, for forest. Oil. We actually have a lot of oil out here. We have a lot of farmland here. So we have farmland here. We have oil here. Um, so it might be the case of actually getting a farm out here out as well. Um, that really might be a good idea. Uh, for the lower wealth people. We do have a big, big, big demand for people again. 
uh, so we can go ahead and extend uh, this district out here. Let's make sure um, that it's going to be in line. I'm going to assume that's in line. And we can also chuck a few more in here. Let's make this in a crisscross. Doesn't, doesn't like us doing that, does it? Wonky road. Oh, well. Whoa, okay. We're trying to unzone something that isn't already zoned. Actually, let's not zone that. Hope, hopefully this, to, you know, levels the balance out a little bit. And this can be a place that's a little bit less educated. Yeah, as you can see, it's not hitting these groups. So it's not hitting any of these people and these people, but it is hitting them. Uh, that might become the slight problem to us, as we realise that we're going to start to need uh, educated people. How many people are we teaching now? We are teaching 138, 150. Nice, so we actually are starting to build up the amount of people we're teaching. Balance is levelling itself out a little bit. Uh, not enough workers. Uneducated people. What we need. They should start to go down a little bit. Hopefully. Not enough workers. Okay, we should probably have a look at the food area. Uh, so we don't burn out the uh, supply of... Um, the supply of people working here. So let's have a look what we got here. These are all just going to be specialised industries. Uh, yes, yeah, so they're always going to be at the highest level. 6 out of 12. Um, yeah, we have a massive demand for workers still. Very high demand. What, are, what kind of workers do they want? Educated. Yeah, okay, so they want 12. Here's the problem at the moment. So we have residential zones. Um, which are, you know, doing quite well. Our problem is that although they are doing well, uh, what's happening is, you know, we can't help them in any way uh, because we don't have the kind the balance. We have really smart people, but we don't have the jobs to fill them. We have the jobs, but we don't have the smart people to fill them. The shops want smart people. Uh, the uh, old Crappington over here poor old Crappington wants uneducated workers uh, even though we have the demand for it let's have a look at the trading uh, importing, we're importing a lot of goods ores, forestry products we're exporting um, a lot of wood that's all we're exporting a couple of buildings here are gone we might have to have a little rethink in what we're building out and um, let people realise that Old Crappington is one thing. Let's have a look at the zones quickly for it. Yeah, the demand has slowly dropped down there. Um, what we're probably going to want to do eventually is not do too much in regards to Old Crappington. Um, can we do offices yet? Office zones, we need 6,500. High density commercial, we can't do just yet. We can't do just yet. 6,500 for the lot of them. Um, hopefully our population, you know, rises up a little bit. Water, we're doing good. Power, we are. Electricity production, let's chuck in another one of these. Over there. Just spy the house here that needs destroying. Awesome. Looking good, looking good. How are we doing for money? Money's doing us, doing us some good as well. I really want to look at getting a, um... Really want to look at getting a stadium, but we'll do that next episode. So, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed, as always, hit that like button, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel. I uh, hope you're enjoying City Skylines so far. If you've got any suggestions, drop them in the comment section. Um, as I say, we're going to look to uh, getting an area that's good for traffic, that we can get the stadium, uh, try and build our import and export, so that we can get a good amount of money without the desperate need for, uh, without the desperate need for anything else. Electricity production is has gone to shit. There we are. Hopefully that should fix that. There we are. Yeah, so as I was saying, uh, we're going to try and get a bit of import-export. Maybe build up on the tourism side. Uh, try and keep it as clean as possible. While still bringing in a good amount of money. Keeping people happy. Obviously we want the football stadium to not be anywhere near this area here. We want it to be you know, maybe out this side. 
a lot of smaller, um, a, a, sorry, not a lot of roads that are going to kind of partition the traffic away. Um, but as I say, guys, that's going to be for the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you soon. Where the fuck are they? They're over here. So, uh, yeah. Enjoy. Bye.